Hello, welcome to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Welcome to the first in a little series of videos I'm going to be doing over the next few days, um, catching up with the advent calendars that I received in December 2020. Um, during vlogmas and December I posted a series of videos um, about my advent calendars. I had four altogether um, detailing what I received from days 1 to 12 and I continued to record footage of me opening up my packages every day so days 13 to 24 or 25 in some cases but I never shared them here and I debated the worth of sharing them because obviously Advent has long since passed we are fast approaching the middle of January um, but I thought if nothing else it would be a nice record for me to look back on um, so I have decided to start with my fiber advent calendar um, I had the um, vintage Christmas fiber advent from the shepherd's hut and um, if you're interested in seeing the first parts of these videos just pop back to the vlogmas 2020 playlist here on the channel um, I want to try and keep these videos to around about 10 minutes long um, so I have decided in editing my footage from me opening up the packages to mix things up a little bit um, there'll be a little bit of chatter on some days from me um, but there'll also be a few little montages just showing some of the things that I received on certain days um, just to try and keep the length of the video down because if I'd have included all of the chatty bits I think I'd have been up to about 15 minutes already <laughs> so uh, without my sort of introduction segment and my catch up at the end. I'm going to share the footage um, of me opening up the packages every day and then I'll be back at the end just to chat to where I am with my fibre advent and my plans for the things that I've been making with it going forward. It's day 13 today, fibre advent. It's Sunday today so I've got a day off work hoping to catch up um, on my spinning. I'm a couple of days behind and I'd like to try and catch up today. Um, so we've got quite a long parcel today. So I'm thinking there might be a mini bat inside. Oh, there is a teeny tiny <laughs> little candy cane inside as well. Uh, so yes, mini bat matching the candy cane colors. <laughs> That's lots of fun, isn't it? day 16. Um, I did spin up my singles yesterday but you can't see them <laughs> because they're hiding under this uh, lovely bump of fibre that was in my advent from Caroline yesterday. Um, but that braid yesterday uh, spun the most uh, sort of glorious deep red. Um, however it was not the most consistent um, spin in my calendar so far. Um, the fibres just um, I did I did pre-draft the fibres um, but there were sort of quite a few sort of neppy bits and um, inconsistencies in the fibre. Um, still made for a beautiful yarn but probably um, one of the least consistent fibres in the calendar so far. So yeah, number 16. Don't know if you can hear the rain, it's pouring down. <laughs> pouring down is the word. Oh, I've got gold again. Lovely. Um, so we had this earlier on in the month and I'm assuming this looks fairly similar. So uh, this was a really nice one to um, spin. Day 17 for Fibre Advent and I think we are probably back to a bat. Ooh, ooh, this is something different. We've had a couple of fibres that have been um, similar-ish in colours and I think the gold one has been the same both times but look at that wow I, I can't wait to see what yarn that's going to give so there's lots of different greens and then there's the red and the black Day 21 in my fibre advent. Totally given up trying to guess what's in these. We seem to be just on a mini braid roll at the moment. And yes, <laughs> a beautiful red with some flecks of white in there. Up to date on my spinning calendar. 
um, which I'm pretty pleased with. Here we are at day 21. Um, well, when I'm up to date, I mean I'm up to date on spinning the singles. I've got to do the plying and I think about three. I plan to try and do that later on this afternoon, I think. Last day for two of my four advent calendars. Uh, my calendar from Caroline and my fibre advent have both got parcels for day 25. So um, we'll start with fibre advent. I'm now about three days behind, I think, with my fibre advent. Um, but I did, I did quite well <laughs> to keep up for as long as I did, I think. So here we go. Oh, we have green. That's a lovely minty green. And there's lots of white in there too. So I think that'll be a really, really pretty one to spin up. Before I catch you up with exactly where I'm at with my fibre advent, while I was editing the video, um, I realised that I must have deleted the footage that I took on Christmas day, the footage of me opening this package. Um, but on the 25th day in the Shepherd's Heart calendar, um, I received this lovely, um, bag of fibre. They're calling this a grab bag and it's 50 grams of BFL Blue Face Leicester um, and it's a mix of hand dyed fleece, wool and top um, and it's just a glorious riot of Christmas colours. Um, they're calling this the Holly and Ivy set um, and as you can see I have not um, dug into this yet. Um, I have decided um, to actually put this package it's the only part of my advent calendar that's actually going into my stash for a little while um, I think this will be a fun one to grab and play with at some point uh, at a later date for the most part I was able to keep up with my daily spinning goals for this calendar although I did fall off a little bit towards the end but with everything going on in December and the um, different advent projects that I was trying to keep up with it wasn't really a surprise in the couple of weeks since the end of December I have managed to finish spinning and plying all of the mini bumps of fibre that I received in the calendar. Um, so I've got two handfuls to show you. Um, the first is this set here. Um, these have all been spun, plied, washed. Um, so they're basically finished yarns, finished mini skeins. I have a, another pile of nine on the other side of me that have been um, spun and plied but I have not yet washed these ones. So the twist is yet to be sort of set, the yarns yet to be properly finished. <laughs> Together, a really fun bundle of mini skeins. <laughs> I two plied um, all of these mini skeins. For the most part, they're about a fingering weight. Um, some of them are more sport to DK. Two reasons for that. Um, one is I'm not the most diligent of spinners when it comes to um, setting myself like a control card. I like to spin for fun and the yarn that comes out is just how it comes out. <laughs> and secondly, there was a good mix of different fibre and blends in this calendar. And although um, there wasn't a list of the different blends and fibres, um, it was very apparent when you were spinning that they were not all the same. So there was a few inconsistencies um, due to that aspect too. Um, my original plan for these mini skeins was to, to um, spin a contrasting colour and knit them up into a litmus cowl, um, basically a really long sort of stripy stockingette cowl. Um, but now that I've spun all of these yarns and they're almost ready to go, as you can see, um, this calendar definitely stuck to the vintage Christmas theme. There's a lot of red, a lot of green, um, a couple of golds and a few more sort of white kind of colours. Um, I, now that I've got all of the finished yarn, I don't think I will wear a cowl in these colours. It is just too overtly Christmassy for me. So I am thinking now, um, rather than putting all of these minis into my stash, um, sort of being left to hibernate for a while, um, someone under one of the videos suggested um, maybe making 
a Christmas garland and I think that's actually a great idea now that I've seen all of the minis. So my plan is um, to try and work with a couple of these minis every month to knit up um, some miniature jumpers, some miniature stockings um, that I can turn into a garland as a decoration for next year. Um, I think I'll get loads out of um, 24 mini skeins of yarns um, so I might end up making myself a garland and then maybe gifting a few um, hand knit, hand spun um, miniatures as um sort of presents next december so yeah i think that is how i plan to go forward um first step is going to be to actually wash and set the twist in um these minis that are patiently waiting so i'm going to start to do that this afternoon um and then yeah as i say i think it will be a slow burn project um and i'm going to set myself a a goal um of using up two of these mini skeins every month during 2021 I think that's fairly achievable let me know in the comments below if you have any other project ideas that you think I could use these minis for before I get started and also um please do chat to me about your advent projects were you able to keep up with them um did they fall by the wayside are they still works in progress do you have finished objects um let me know because um I always like this to um be a nice two-way conversation if we can so it will be lovely to hear from you. I am going to um, sneak off, start washing these minis, um, edit this video and get it uploaded and um, I shall be back soon to chat um, about the other three advent calendars that I received in December. Um, so I hope you will join me for those videos but until we get to spend time together again I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy. Great big goodie hugs to you all. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.